game series of all time today. And it will be a parasitic mobile game that just uses content from all the real games to harvest money from um, people with addictive personalities. And it's very sad. But, you know, maybe if uh, the 30 people who care about Wild Arms all give a million dollars to it, Sony will be inclined to give us a real game. I really don't understand what they were thinking. <laughs> You know what doesn't have a huge audience? Wild Arms. You know what? We're gonna make a freemium game? Wild Arms. Maybe next week, the Zephyr stream will be Freeze rants about Japanese RPGs for seven hours straight. Seven hours seems a bit much. We could do a Rift Tracks of Cloud Atlas four times, and that will bring us up to a 12 hour stream. Very long movie. kits are actually like toys. Oh, so yeah. like there's the video game and then there's like oh, toys as well. What was that uh super cool. I'll give you points, Sarah, if you can remember oh, that no. thing that Ace told us about. Oh man. You remember? I remember the game. But yeah I there, what it's called. There was a it was impossible to find. I looked like all over Amazon for There was a uh, there was a tabletop game with customizable uh, action figure with customizable action figures and it was really really cool and it flopped really hard and there was no there's not a lot of things for it and the creator ordered all of the everything about it destroyed yeah. so it's very hard to find it but it was like a card game and every action figure came with cards and a bunch of customizable pieces that you would use to play games with um, and it was very cool You could use my uh, Google sensibilities and just type in that one unknown tabletop game. Sure, we'll try that. That one is with the uh, with the customizable action figures that is now canceled. Because sometimes when I want to find something on Google, I just type in a full sentence like that, and sometimes Google obliges. It was on board game geek. Well, it's probably everything's on board game geek. It had a really simple name. I swear it was like a two-letter name or something. It also makes it hard to look for. Is Board Game Geek, if I was Board Game, in, board game uh, Geek, the, the website known for its uh, very easy to navigate UI. I'm sure we'll be able to find an obscure title. It is better than it was. Let's see if I you know make the I mean, maybe I'm gonna push the design a little better. So if I go like this, I'm gonna look at Stell's new art. And maybe I'll incorporate some parts of her into the robot art. Give her some flair. Probably it. The pose might end up roughly the same. Zevos? 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 With an X? Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Google it. Um, Zevos. Yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, let's um let's unite, guys. Let's try to figure out uh, if you know what this game we're talking about is. I challenge you to uh, remember the name with us. Going on a Google adventure. And like the overall design of this robot is just gonna stay the same. But, but, my sense of detail has evolved, and it's going to end up looking a lot better, I think. Oh man, this looks pretty cool, but I don't think it's the right thing. Very similar, though. But it's, Very, yeah, very similar. It was something like, some of these are. it was something like this. Oh, these are sweet. Devos is the kind of game that I would work on. And like put it on the res put it on my resume for the rest of my life. Even though this game probably sold like it was made of lead. Mm -hmm. 
new game, like Zevos. It's really cool. Games yes. like games like Zevos. I think I remember seeing commercials for Zevos on like when I was watching like Amparo. Did you ever make tea? I did. It was obviously HeroScape. <laughs> because all obscure, really decadently cool games were actually just HeroScape. Ace, okay. what is that game you own all the copies of? <laughs> yes, seriously. <laughs> 3-2 says they're still kind of bummed that Tenkai Knights didn't become a thing. Oh, dude, Tenkai Knights, were those those transformable Legos? Because those were cool. They also love heroes. Chillax. I'm gonna do the most chillax robot drawing stream ever. Like legit, so this guy's already coming out a little bit closer to what I want him to look like. Alright, cool. We've made progress, boys. We're getting there. Breeze is remembering how to draw right before your eyes. Show you some of the other art that I've been doing. Oh, actually, speaking of Wild Arms, I don't play Wild Arms. I was actually doing a little pet project over here a long time ago. Um, image adjustments. Pre-transform. There we go. Actually, actually, it totally has some other robot <laughs> art down there too. But if I made Wild Iron Six, I actually was doing out some sketches for the different characters that would entail there. And you know, maybe, maybe I will just make Wild Iron Six. That was always kind of the plan because I knew Sony would never do it. If anyone's ever never played Wild Arms, it's the best series ever. Bar none. Except for 4 and 5. We don't talk about those. But 1, 2, 3 in the remake of 1? Great stuff. The PSP game? Also distinctly passable. Very good tactics game. For those here who are interested in hex-based tactics games, check out Wild Arms XF on PSP. It might be on PSN now. There's some newfangled stuff that I don't understand. I still play all of my games on disc. I sound so old. First time I played a console and it asked me to update firmware. I think that's when I stopped playing console games. I was like, I don't want to put an effort. I just paid $50 for this game. Just play it. I just want the disc to go in. That's why I make board games now. <laughs> I don't understand new technology. I just want stuff to be simple. Buy game, play game. That's what Zephyr Workshop's all about. <laughs> I like our games to be buy game, play game.
It's also probably why I haven't had a Twitch account really until now. I did start stream once or twice a long time ago under my personal Twitch account, which I don't use. I'm gonna give this guy vent like potato feet. Get up a little bit cooler. Where's what's your face? Got you, fam. Where are you? Good. Photoshop does this amazing thing where if you hit, if you minimize a window, sometimes you can just never get it back. Just cry, I guess. PNG assets. Yeah, assets. This? We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is one. Might be. So, no, that's just a wrong name. Okay. How do I include? How do I incorporate Stall's design into this little cannon robot? Are like wear clippers, gold, silver, and black. Our stalls, national players. Oh, oh, he just got. Oh, no, 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 what here? Okay. You just gotta draw for fun. Always draw because you enjoy it. Otherwise, you're not really very happy. Always do art to make you happy. And also do Aegis fan art and we will post it on our social media. <laughs> I love Aegis fan art, it's the coolest. It is, it's very cool. Season 2 also wants a sequel to a Guardian Legend, but that's been a long wait. How do you do single player? Um, I guess you could play solitaire or something? Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, tabletop sim is pretty much... Yeah, you need somebody to play with. Um, actually, no, or do you? 
Not really. You can 